So today we'll discuss something really important, but yet an easy one and a very easy concept relating to field values. Okay, so we'll see what are these field values, how do you use it, and why do you configure it. Right? So let's understand what this field values is about. Okay. So let's see. okay. Suppose once you start building an application, okay, for a particular property, let's say you <clears throat> some drop down or something, okay, it allows specific options or it allows specific um, list of choices. Let me put it this way: a list of choices is there, which has to be populated every time you populate that field. Now, for example, let's consider that these values, uh, let us take a drop down. Okay? Let, let the drop down be country where you get all the list of all the countries in that drop down to be populated. Okay, And assume this has to be modified frequently so generally what we do is we we would either put it as a local list directly on the property level okay so that directly i can make changes on the property yes as a local list we, we would ideally do that but if i have like around 200 countries to be listed out so is it practical for me to List out all the 200 there on the property. No. No. And, and also in case there are some changes, see when, when it is a property, then I'll have I'll, I'll have to you know uh, unlock it. I mean, obviously it, it would be locked once the application is ready to you know deploy. So it would be locked. So in case there are some changes, what would I do? I should go back, unlock it, add or make the changes, then lock it, which which probably is not a good approach, isn't it? So instead of the local list, what we do is we try to use an alternate method called field values. Field values are a separate, you can call them as a rule type separately. So instead of having the values associated to a property or something, we create these as separate entities. Okay. So we use these uh, field values so that I can manage them as separate entities. So all my regular aspects of the rules, like your versioning, circumstancing, or the class level uh, you know, inheritance, so all these can now be applied to the field values. Instead of just a data, now I can refer them as rules directly. So they, they are not just any random data, but they are considered as rules in the application. Okay, so let, let's see what this is all about. I think we'll directly jump into the you know, uh, studio. We'll, we'll have a look into it directly. So let me just log in. Okay, yes, here is the application. Let me go to the case time. Okay, so it says no unlocked rules at versions. Okay, let me just uh, go back to my application definition. Okay. So let me just... Uh, Mm. Okay. I just unlock this. I mean, ideally, you, you shouldn't be unlocking this first one when you have a lot of other things. Yeah. So, But for this user, he doesn't have access to the uh, new version. So he cannot make any changes on this application. Okay. So that's why I'm, I'm just going to unlock this. 
so that I can operate on, on this particular version. Okay, because this user has got access only until 0102. Okay, but nothing of 0102 uh, is available for making changes, so I'm just unlocking it. So okay, so now I have O one O one O one available for making changes. So this user does not have any privilege to run the transaction also. So far, and yes, now it is fine. Okay. So I'm I'm I was talking about a local list and you know, populate the values and all. Okay. So let's see that with a regular approach first. We'll we'll see the regular approach. Then we'll try to use the field values. We'll see what is going to be the difference. Let me just have. Uh, this section for get personal info. Open the process. So just get personal info. I'm going to open the section. Okay. I'm going to build a drop down with a given set of uh, values. Okay, right. So I'm going to just create a simple property for country, and that is going to be a drop down. For that, let me create this property. Okay, let me create a property for country, and where is it applied? It is part of your work dash recruitment class. Okay, and rule set HRS 01101. Okay, yes, now I have the property. I'm going to save it. Okay, so let me just go back. Now, let me use a drop down. Okay, I'm going to use. A drop down and I'm going to point it to the country property. Okay, but do I have the choices yet? No. I don't choice for the country. So this is a regular approach that is followed when you have to for list of entities, be it a drop down, a radio choice, or an auto complete or a search. So this is our approach, but we'll see what disadvantages we have with with this approach. Okay, yes, here is the drop down. Let me just point it to the country property. Yes, okay. But does it have any values yet? No. So let to the property to add in some. So here, instead of the uh, table type here, if you see, it is before that I'm going to use the local list. So there are all the options that you want will be listed out here. So these are going to be my options. So let us add in more. Okay. 
الحمد لله كتش نسيبك so i'll go back to my section and save this as well we'll run the transaction so obviously the expectation is that the country uh, drop down would be populated okay it's part of the new rule set 020101 Okay, my moment. So this is part of our validation that we have considered. I mean, sorry, not validation. It's I think it's part of the checked out that we made some change. Okay. So yes, I'm going to remove this uh, version. I mean, remove this O2O1. I mean, I'm going to delete this. So it is locked. O2O1 is locked. Mm, but I don't see O2O1. It's not locked. It's not locked, you know. Or this user does not have access to it, right? So this user has access only until uh, O1, mm -hmm. O2, but he can't make changes into O2, O1, so it is locked. Mm -hmm. Let us release the lock and let us try to delete this. When we do release lock, uh, is the section which is part of this rule set will be uh, unlocked or the entire rule set will be unlocked? No, no, only this on, on this particular rule, a lock is acquired and that is released. Okay. Not for the entire uh, rule set. Now, um, checked out. It has a checked out version. It's so let's discard this checked out rule. Just So that's why it's always a good practice that lock the earlier versions first, only then proceed to the new versions. And then coming back, uh, then uh, doing something on it is again not suggested. So considering all these uh, ambiguities and complexities. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you see, I mean, as it is just a simple control that we have added, it is okay that I can discard it and then I can make some changes again. But working on it for the whole day and then it, is, it, it gets overridden is, you know, it's like a, not, not a good practice. Okay, don't have the rule here. So let me go back. We'll see. Still part of vote to over and over. Okay. 
Let us do this on the rule level also. Okay. So now I don't have any uh, rules as part of this. Okay. Next time it is open, you will see. It's still part of yes. Now it is part of my over and over and over. So let me quickly go ahead and in my country drop down again. Okay, so let's map it to the country property. Okay. And one more thing is, so each time I cannot, you know, check in, check out all of that every time. So I'm just disabling this because as I, as a single developer for now, I can proceed. But otherwise, if it's a combined environment, you always have to check out anything. Okay. Run the transaction quickly. So the expectation is that we should be able to see the uh, drop down with the list of values you have given. So right, that so-called five or six entities. Right. This process is most suitable. You have each case type. If it is having a separate list, then I think this is. Okay. But use this uh, for case types. I mean, there is this country property. Different set of list for each case type. Can I use it? No. So for better usability and for better handling, better maintenance, we tend to create them as field values. And also one more advantage here is the, uh, okay, let, let me just show you this. Once we run the transaction, Suppose in the in the options uh, in in the drop down, you might show the entire country name, right? Something like this, Alaska, United States of uh, America. You might show the entire thing there, but when the user makes a choice and want to store it in the DB, you wouldn't store the same thing. I mean, you wouldn't store yeah. the United States of America. Instead, you would have a code. Right? We have to for three characters, not more than that. Why? Because we the DB space. So you set the column size to a maximum of four characters, not more than that. With this local list, what happens is the one that you uh, select or one that you choose at the wrong time is going to be for these selections. So the same thing is going to be available on your clipboard. So the values is the value stored on the clipboard. You cannot have any coding at all is not possible. So that's the one more disadvantage that we would be looking at. So ideally what happens is whatever the choice that we make uh, on, on this transaction, so the same value is available on the clipboard, correct? But in case yes. you need some decoding or if you want some abbreviations to be stored, for for the user it has to be different. But for storing in the DB, it so this scenario cannot be handled by your local list, okay? Because when it's a local list, whatever the user selects or whatever the user sees. The same thing is available on my clipboard. The same thing goes in my DB. Right. 
So again, that advantage of uh, having some abbreviations or having different entities for different users is, is missing. So why is it taking so long to just run the transaction also? There is a rule resolution taking time. an extra like five to ten minutes is that okay yeah it is okay okay so i'll just please uh, reload the instance once okay. and i'll do that The instance is also taking time to load. So just uh, reiterating the disadvantages of your local list is you cannot reuse these entities for different case types, right? Because it's part of a particular property. Even if maybe you can create it on a parent level class, but still when you have different lists for different case types, You cannot localize these values. Right? Localization again could, could be part of um, localizing your application for different locales and for different geographies. So that localization part cannot be possible with your. Then obviously the one that you see is the one that you have on the clipboard. Right. So it's like the exact same thing is available on the clipboard, but you cannot decode it or you cannot have any abbreviations when it is part of a local list. So these can be overcome when you start using the you mentioned that for a particular property for a particular property if i want to have a list and if i want the user to say suppose see united states of america but uh, okay. in the background i want to store it as usa mm -hmm. so for that we have prompt list as well for that sorry 
we have prompt list prompt list yes to an extent agreed but again the uh, use of this field values is so this data or the choices that you are having they are no longer handled as data instead they are handled as rules so all the things that we have discussed yesterday part of rule resolution right be it your circumstancing versioning privileges you know different uh, so all those will now apply for the field values so that's the advantage we get here okay so if we yeah. have it on the property then yeah go on go on so if we have it on the property in a form of local list then it will not have a rule set specific it will not be treated as a rule exactly. separate rule just like uh, it, it will it will be just like uh, you know any any other normal uh, rule but the data in it can cannot be identified or you know it the data cannot be considered as a separate rule okay Okay. Uh, finally, the instance is loaded, but I don't see anything relating to our country dropdown. Seems like it is not saved at all. So, okay, seems like it's not saved. So you see, I think it's like taking more time Got a lot of uh, field values for different uh, entities. One classic example is, is for our case status. For case status, you will see is open, new, approved, um, or pending approval, pending. So you get to see all of them. those are your field values. The regular behavior that is expected to have entities on the local list is. Played on the case sequence. Good. But in terms of usability and all, cannot be in the picture. So, in that. 
Create some field values, data model. Yes, here is your field. So here we will be creating field values with the options. So the choices that you are going to have will become the entity here. So they are going to be the field values. And you can have it specific to a particular class. So let me name the label. So label is going to be your options this time. It's not country, but it is going to be the actual value of the Choose this applies to this so that my field names will, will be printed out accordingly. Here we get to see all the list of properties available. Let me map it to the country. Here I'm going to let me move the list. So instead of local list, this time it is going to be a field value. Okay. So wherein here I don't need to define anything. Just that you mentioned the field values. And here you can decide which class are you going to look at. For example, uh, in XYZ. Okay, let me. And which field are you looking at? I want to have the country related field. The field name is the in that will give the name of the property on which we want to have a field value. Right. Yes. So here on this configuration, you see the field name is country. The label or the field value is going to be your choices. And for each choice, we, we have to create a separate field value. Right? Initially, it might feel you know very uh, hectic in order to create all those things. But the advantage is, is a lot more, right? You, you will have the reusability factors coming into picture. Then your localization comes into picture. Then your, uh, you know, the same thing available on the clipboard. So you can uh, resolve that issue. So considering these advantages, it is still good we create them as field values. So let me just uh, show you this. Again, this is still loading. So now we created one field value for one of the choices. Okay. For I think we in India we created for rest of them also. Similarly, we have to you know create these field values. Come on. So we'll see for another couple of minutes if it's still the same. I think probably in the next session we'll we'll do a quick catch up on this again. Mm -hmm. Okay.